Oh, Liverpool closing in on their first major signing of the new Arnie slot era. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Yes, today's video is going to centre all around this man right here, Martin Zubimendi of Real Sociedad, who is who yesterday was the subject to heavy transfer speculation surrounding his future with Liverpool being the latest club to express their admiration and interest in the Spanish midfielder to the point where when the in the know journalists that were talking about this know something, it normally means there are some legs and there are some weight behind the story. And that's what seems to be happening here. This story seems to be moving at quite a very quick pace, it seems, to the point where we could be getting the here we go from Fabrizio Romano and the exclusive from David Ornstein completely drop on this story at any given moment. Fingers crossed as well. We're going to be talking about Zubamendi. We're going to be talking about Liverpool. They may be about to make their first big splash of this transfer window. And God, have we been waiting for it. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both things always have forever greatly appreciated. Get involved in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts, your comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it. I'll make for great and interesting reading, I'm sure, down below. Use and abuse that comment section, people. Talk to me. On this potential transfer story, anything to do with Liverpool, anything to do with Zuba Mendy, will make for great and interesting reading down below. So please do get involved and talk to me on this. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's talk Martin Zuba Mendy and a potential transfer to Liverpool Football Club. Yesterday, the news broke from one Paul Joyce. And for those of you who don't know, when Paul Joyce knows something about Liverpool, that is normally a sign that there is something concrete, that there is something with weight behind a particular story. Paul Joyce is the one that really knows his stuff when it comes to the Reds. And he's the only one really that, as much as Liverpool like to work in the shadows on transfer stories, he is the main guy when it comes to seeing what is legitimate and what is not when it comes to Liverpool Football Club. He ran with this article... Liverpool optimistic of signing £51 million Spain star Martin Zubamendi. Head coach Arnie Slot is hoping to land the 25-year-old from Real Sociedad to bolster his engine room and give his side more control in midfield. And that is exactly what Zubamendi represents. But as soon as, obviously, uh, the news broke from Paul Joyce in regards to this story, it was then jumped on by the likes of Fabrizio Romano and David Ornstein. But it wasn't until later on in the day where this happened. Ian Doyle, another close journalist to Liverpool as well. Local reports out of Spain indicate Martin Zubamendi will now decide if he wants to join Liverpool with Real Sociedad, increasingly resigned to the fact he is on his way to Anfield. It would then go on to say later on in that day that, that Sociedad are starting to believe that Zubamendi would choose to leave Sociedad in favour of Liverpool. Fabrizio Romano was on this as well all day. He claims that Liverpool are exploring move for Martin Zubamendi as new midfielder as there's 60 million euro release clause in his contract. Talks will follow between clubs and on player side. He then later on in the day tweeted, Liverpool remain confident to sign Martin Zubamendi with talks ongoing, as reported earlier today. There's still work to do, but Liverpool are on it. And then finally, just to round off what David Ornstein has said, Real Sociedad expect Martin Zubamendi to accept move to Liverpool, according to Sociedad sources. Clubs will, uh, would still need to agree fee unless Liverpool decide to trigger 16 million euro release clause, which needs to be paid in full via The Athletic and, of course, the journalist who broke the news. So, a massive day for Liverpool. We have been waiting so long for Liverpool to do something in this transfer window and it finally seems that they have awoken to the occasion and are finally about to make a big wave in this transfer window. A big splash finally happening in this transfer window. 
It seems that Liverpool want him. It seems that if reports are to be believed, Zubamendi wants Liverpool. It seems that it's only a matter of time before a deal is struck. And it's all going to depend on the structure of the deal now. There's a 60 million pound, uh, 60 million euro release clause, sorry, in his contract, which will need to be paid in full. Or Liverpool could try to negotiate uh, a lesser fee with, obviously, uh, instalments and things of that nature, as is regular in these kinds of dealings. But what we do know is that, obviously, Zubamendi has been attracting a lot of interest from elsewhere, not just Liverpool. So Liverpool would need to move fast on this. And, I, and for me personally, we should be just able to just stick the money out, uh, out up front. We should be able to just slap the £51 million pounds on the table and say, take it or leave it. Well, take it because, you know, there's a release clause. Um, that's really what we should be doing as a, as, as a big club that we should be. The big club that we obviously want to be and pretend to be in a... You know, all of that kind of stuff. We should just be slapping the money on the table. Um, I, I, I do think a deal will be done. But I also worry that the longer we take, the more this might open the door for other teams to maybe get involved. Other teams have been supposedly involved. They're like, said, your Arsenal's, your Manchester United, your Barcelona's. I think even, I remember, P, uh, maybe a couple of PSG links. Maybe not as strong, but I think they're still lingering in the background. So... Right now, it does seem like Liverpool are in pole position to take this deal and to obviously uh, completely take a firm grip of it. But obviously, time will tell on whether or not um, on whether or not Liverpool will do such a thing. What did I say though? What did I say earlier on in the transfer window? Look, it's not ideal that we've waited this long to get our first signing across the line if this is obviously to come to fruition and this obviously is to materialise. But I said we would get there. I said that normally we work in the shadows on this kind of thing and we're probably waiting for the more opportune time. Now, of course, Zuba Mendy has been away with Spain on international duty all summer. Obviously, Spain... The European champions after beating England in the final a few short weeks ago. And of course, then he's been on holiday to enjoy his pre-season, his belated pre-season. And now, obviously, the, the players that went far in those kind of international tournaments across the summer are starting to get back into the swing of things in pre-season. So we, obviously, it's not necessarily ideal timing to, of course, gone for him a little earlier. But this, to me, represents a big Big, big signing. And a signing that I don't necessarily think is completely perfect for Liverpool. But is one that is near enough perfection in my personal opinion. Um, what we know about this story is that Zimendi, like I say, has been attracting a lot of interest from elsewhere. There were also seemingly reports that he wanted to stay in Spain. But then the news breaks yesterday from the likes of Paul Joyce, from the likes of David Ornstein and Fabrizio Romano, who jump on the Paul Joyce news. And I remember thinking yesterday, those reports of him wanting to stay in Spain have to be, have to be ridiculous now. Because there has to be something more to this. If Paul Joyce is saying it especially, there has to be something more to this than just a story. There has to be some weight behind it. There has to be some sort of legitimacy behind what is being said here. And then, of course, the story developed throughout the day and it turned out to be genuine. Because we know that if he wanted to really stay in Spain, Liverpool would not go any further. Look what happened earlier on this camp, this uh, summer with Lenny Yoro. We believed Real Madrid were going to come in for Lenny Yoro and there was no point in trying to turn his head to come to Liverpool. We left it. Obviously, as we know now know, Real Madrid didn't come in for him and he went to Manchester United. If there was legit talks of him staying in Spain, we wouldn't have gone in for him. We'd have just said, okay, you want to stay in Spain? That's cool, we'll look elsewhere. And then the news breaks, the story develops throughout the entirety of the day. And before you know it, it seems that both parties in this situation want each other and now it's about agreeing a fee between the two clubs. 
This to me is a statement of intent by Liverpool. This to me is a massive statement of intent. We know that Arnie Slot has had a good start to his Liverpool career. We've seen pre-season. We've seen he's picked up three wins in pre-season. Now, of course, they are pre-season friendly, so let's not go completely overboard on, on, on analysing the results. But three wins out of three isn't a bad start at all. Um, there is a lot to be excited about. There's a lot to be optimistic about. There's a lot to be intrigued about in terms of, obviously, Arnie Slot's system and obviously looking and searching and finding out more about this manager that is obviously um, entering into a new job. But his start of reign as manager has been very promising so far, it seems. A lot of potential to it, a lot of optimism, and a lot of excitement, and a lot of things for fans to really get on board by. However, there is still room for improvement. And one of those big improvements was, obviously, the number six role. The fact that Watara Endo didn't start a game... Well, didn't uh, didn't really start in preseason, apart from maybe one of the, the three games. Only came, coming on as a substitute to obviously um, obviously rotate and to get some energy into the legs of those players and things. Kind of signalled to everybody that a number six was definitely needed, and even before then, we knew a number six was needed because. We need a strengthening in that area, whether it be in terms of quality or whether in terms of being in depth. We know we needed quality in that area. And obviously, as we looked at slot ball more and more as the preseason progressed, we kind of understood that the role of that number six had changed from what it was under Jurgen Klopp. Under Jurgen Klopp, of course, it was more of a, a warrior type number six, a more of a destroyer type number six that we needed. And that's why Endo fitted quite well. But under the Arnie slot system, we now need a number six who is more technical on the ball. We need a controller of the midfield. We need someone who can dictate the tempo. We need someone who's more, like I say, technically gifted. And Zuba Mendy fits that criteria pretty much perfectly, in my opinion. When you look at the number sixes that we have currently, we talked about with Tara Endo. He's a destroyer. He's not a controller. Last season... He did better than what anybody could have predicted or expected. And we thank him for that. And we can't thank him enough for that. The money that we paid kind of turned out to be a bargain in a way. And for the job that he did, he was brilliant. But the way that he was playing last season and being a destroyer and just laying the ball off to uh, to opposition, to, uh, opposition, to, uh, to his teammates and playing it simple, that was effective. But it's not going to necessarily work completely in this system. And that's why you could see in pre-season he was a little rusty. He wasn't quite adapting to the role. And obviously we need a different type of number six in that particular position. That and obviously the fact that he's not exactly getting any younger with all due respect. He's got a lot of experience and a lot of leadership which you know may come in handy as, as a backup and as maybe um, a, a plan B option in that midfield later on. Unless, of course, we decide to sell him. But Zubamendi will be the way to go forward. And you've, of course, got on the other side, Stefan Bicetic, who came, who came into the Liverpool side and looked very, very good. Very, very promising. And then, of course, he had a injury hit season during the last campaign. Now, I still think Bicetic could fill that role brilliantly I still think he's got a lot more to offer this club but he's still young he can't obviously do it on his own as, and, and especially not across an entirety of a full season at least and not only that as well but it's a bit of a gamble considering the injury hit campaign that he had last season will he come back and still uh, and and pick up where he left off will he come back and drop off a cliff we don't know so there are a lot of question marks surrounding Bicecic Endo doesn't quite fit the bill. The number six role was obviously going to need filling and strengthening even more so. And like I say, for the criteria that Liverpool need, Zuba Mendy seems to fit the bill down to a T. Um, what can we expect from him? Well, he'll keep things ticking over in the midfield. He'll dictate the tempo of the game. He'll control the midfield. He can progress and grow into being a, a, a more leadership kind of role. 
He's someone that is very confident on the ball. He's very technical on the ball. He would basically not shy away from taking the ball and progressing with it further up the pitch. Um, whether it be breaking the lines from, from deep, whether it be trying to draw out the press. His passing's good. His dribbling's good. His technique's decent. This guy has got all the makings of a controller in that midfield. There are some question marks over whether or not he can do the defensive side of the game. And, you know, we know that obviously the Dutch type of play is total football. So everybody defends, everybody attacks. In that kind of aspect, he may be able to do a job. It's not exactly the most... Um, it's something that we'll obviously have to get used to. It's not exactly the most kind of must-see sort of thing that we've seen from Liverpool, obviously, in recent years. It's, it's different to, to Klopp in that aspect. Um, but at the same time, it can be doable and it obviously can be adapted to. And that is obviously what we've seen, what we've seen a little bit in pre-season and what obviously we hope to see going forward. He's not exactly the most fancy player. He's not exactly the most flashy of player. He doesn't have all the skills or all the flair of other players in the team that are more creative and more aesthetically pleasing, shall we say. But in terms of being a workhorse, in terms of doing all the industrious side of the, of, of the job and in terms of doing sometimes even, like I say, a bit of the dirty work, this guy will be, will be very good in handling those aspects. He is simple, but he is effective. And that is exactly what Liverpool need in that kind of area if they want slot balls to succeed. This is going to be the most important area for us. This is going to be the, the, the big area that we need to, to improve. And I think we have found a very, very, very strong and very, very good candidate to kind of fill that particular role to, to succeed in that particular area. Now, of course... This isn't the be-all and end-all. I'm not simply going to go on and say now that because we signed Zuba Mendy that that's it. We can now challenge for the Premier League. We expect to challenge, but I don't think we are going to win. Um, I just realised what I said. I meant to say, yeah, we, I don't expect us to win purely based off of this signing. I just expect us to still challenge. I still think we will have the third best team in the Premier League, but this is at least a step in the right direction and a big step at that. If we were to go on and pull off a madness in the remaining few weeks of this transfer window, and I'm talking striker, I'm talking winger, left back maybe, then who knows. But this is at least a massive step in the right direction. We've been calling out for Liverpool to at least do something in this transfer window. And it does seem like we are heading in the right direction to making a big splash in the form of Martin Zubimendi. Fingers crossed this all pays off. Fingers crossed we can agree a deal with Real Sociedad on this. And like I say, I think this is a little... A little bit further along because whenever Liverpool news breaks and it is something that has got weight and credibility to it, they don't normally do it unless there's something firm to put out there. That's the Michael Edwards way of, of years gone by of doing this kind of stuff. So very much interested and intrigued by this. These are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you call it, of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of this Martin Zubamendi news? Do you think it's good for Liverpool? Do you think it's bad for Liverpool? Should they be looking elsewhere? Should they be looking at other positions? And what about Zubamendi himself? Is this a good move for him? Is this a bad move? Should he be waiting for someone else to come in for him? I'd love to know what you guys think and feel about Zubamendi and Liverpool down below in the comment section. Use and views that comment section, people, with your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it. That'll make for great, interesting reading, I'm sure, down below. Otherwise, hit the like button on the way. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new or you want to see more content like this. Both things are always incredibly greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. I will see you speak to you all again soon in another video or live stream or whatever it may be. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Speak to you all again very, very soon.